Gentlemen, if you're looking to build muscle in your 50s and step into your silverback years with strength, confidence, and vitality, this one exercise and all of its variations should be your best friends. This movement isn't about being and looking tough in your 50s. No, it's about forging a rock solid core, able hips, mighty shoulders with stability, and a bulletproof lower back. Four things that become non-negotiable as we age. Now here's the deal. As we get older, our muscle mass naturally starts to decline. And with it, our stability and strength. Now we're not gonna let that happen, are we, right? This exercise is a powerhouse move that forces your body to engage multiple core muscles just to keep you balanced. You're challenging your obliques, erectile spinals, QLs, and transverse abdominis, all of which are crucial for maintaining that posture as we get older and preventing that dreaded back pain. And when these muscles are firing on all cylinders, you're not just stabilizing, you're building strength and muscles in areas that would otherwise be overlooked. Now, who am I? I'm Simon H, Muscle After 50 Coach, and I'm busy transforming guys over 50 into strong, resilient oaks rooted in muscle and old man strength. Now, when these people train with me, they're not withering like a leaf, but standing strong like giants. Now, subscribe and become a real silverback of your own jungle. Now, let's get down to business. If you want to march through your silverback years with more strength, power, vitality, a bit of muscle, and the stability of a true alpha, you've got to add the offset march or one of its variations to your workouts. Now, it's not just an exercise. This offset march is a true investment into future strength. So while others are flaking and falling down like a leaf, you're standing tall like an oak. Now, here is the foundation of the offset march. If you can stand upright, lift one leg up, pull it down, Lift the other one up, so your knee is at a right angle, down. You have now created the foundation of an offset march. Now, I'm gonna show you the variations. For this first progression, there's no need to get fancy. Just pick up a dumbbell or kettlebell, lock it into your side and start marching on the spot. Don't get buck wild from the off, just start with something like so you can practice keeping your torso from tilting from side to side. Now concentrate on lifting those knees up to a right angle and hold for at least a couple of seconds and mind the wobble. Be sure to swap hands and start with about eight left and right marches on each side. If balance is an issue, practice without a weight and even use the support until you feel that you have passed the grade. Doing it barefoot or with socks so you can feel the ground beneath you is definitely the way forward. When you become a black belt at this, use a glute band around your feet and focus on that knee lift, hold, and that straight torso. For variation two, if you want to become a badass, attach a heavy band around your dumbbell or kettlebell. Now that unexpected oscillation from the bouncing up and down will definitely keep you honest and progressing. This next variation will test your shoulder griddle all the way down to your core. But the march must go on if you want to graduate to a true alpha status. Right now, you're a freshman, so keep the weight really light until you get this down to a T. Uh. 
Okay, for our last variation, we halt the marching and replace it with a static lunge with a trunk rotation. Now you will see that I have a kettlebell or you could use a dumbbell hanging off a heavy band on one side. It happens to be the side that my knee is facing the ground with a straight arm overhead. Now the idea here is to slowly and under control rotate towards the other leg. I can't think of a major muscle group that isn't being torched here. Have your bottom knee just hovering off the ground and try to keep your legs as still as possible. Now, if you can manage eight to 10 reps on each side, you are an official badass. For me personally, I like to add one of these variations to my workouts once a week. Why? Because building muscle after 50 is more than just looks, although that does help. It's about functionality. It's about being able to do the things you love as you get older while staying injury free. You know, things like picking up the groceries, picking up your grandkids, picking up that on even package that arrives at your door and that odd heavy suitcase. Now, when you're training your body using these kind of forces, you're actually um, building a bit of resilience and setting yourself up for fewer injuries in the future so you can carry on doing those activities that mean the most to you. Now, in my next video, oh, before I tell you about my next video, if you've tried an offset march, tell me which variation you tried in the comments. Tell me which one you liked, which one you hated, how you're getting on. Put them in the comments. Let's get some interaction. Now, on my next video, I'm going to be talking to you about what to do when you arrive at a plateau. You're not moving, you're not getting any stronger, you're not getting any bigger. I'll show you how to do it. Now, on to the next time. Stay safe, press that like button and the subscribe button on your way out and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're warned every time I drop the good stuff for building muscle after 50. Now stay safe, keep smiling. Peace. For more awesome content, like and subscribe now.